Hi, I'm Mark with Snap-on. Today I'd like to introduce one of our newest products, the AutoTorque Hydraulic Chain Wrench. The AutoTorque Chain Wrench is a portable, compact, fast and powerful tool for making and breaking threaded pipe connections, replacing tongs and other high-risk methods for performing these tasks. With five models to choose from, AutoTorque Chain Wrenches can accommodate pipe diameters ranging from 1 to 14 inches and can provide a maximum torque of over 83,000 foot-pounds using a relatively low 6,000 PSI hydraulic system. Autotorque wrenches can be fitted with a low-profile reaction unit for limited space applications and can be configured for horizontal or vertical operation. The ability to operate the wrench remotely keeps operators away from the dangerous area around the pipe connection during operation. Bill Washington will now provide a detailed demonstration of how the Autotorque chain wrench works. Okay, first we'll assemble the reaction arm on the pipe. We're going to tighten the nut on this all the way down and take all of the slack out of the chain. You can help yourself doing this by pulling the wrench arm in a little bit towards you we set this and you see that this has a cam action on it that I'm putting slack into the chain. That'll make it easier to turn the nut down by hand until you can't anymore. So I'm going to get this all the way down as tight as I can by hand and then I'm going to finish it off with a wrench. This nut takes an inch and a quarter. I'm using an inch and a quarter combo wrench on this. And just snug that up. And now that's tight on the flange, and then we always want to remember to put a pin in the bolt to keep that nut down for safety reasons. Now we're going to pin the cylinder up to the reaction unit. This is the, this is the pin for the reaction block that goes around the cylinder. So we're going to slide this pin through the hole in the reaction unit. take the nut, put the nut on the end of the pin, and we're going to make sure to keep get the keeper pin on the bolt as well. Now we're going to put the drive arm on. And this, before we start tightening this up, we're going to pin up to the clevis. This is the clevis. We're going to use the clevis in this orientation here and pin up to the drive arm. So I'm going to level the cylinder out and I'm going to line these two pieces up. And again, I do this before I tighten the chain on the drive arm. So I've got the clevis pin in. Again, I'm going to line these up and send the pin through the drive arm, run the nut down and put the safety pin in. And then I'm going to come over here and take some of the slack, but not all of the slack, out of the drive arm. If I take all of the slack out, it will not ratchet. So you can see, I can still move this a little bit as I run the nut down. still have a little bit of movement and this will grab. When working with pressurized hydraulic equipment, the minimum required personal protective equipment are safety glasses, leather palm gloves, and safety toe shoes. Now we're ready to put the hoses on the wrench and generally we're going to start with the back because it's easier to get on first. So we have a nipple on the back end of the cylinder, so we'll need to put the coupler on that one first. And again, on these types of fittings, we want to make sure that the collar is screwed all the way down or we'll have hydraulic lock on the hoses. Now we're ready to fasten the nipple to the coupler on the front end of the wrench. And again, we'll slide the collar all the way down on that. And now we're ready to run the wrench. So this wrench is set up in the breakout mode. We're going to be turning this pipe counterclockwise. So you'll see as I hit the button on the pump, I'm going to be hitting the green button to make the wrench go forward. And when I let go of the green button, the wrench will retract. Now 
this wrench is in the breakout mode. To change to the makeup mode, we're simply going to flip the drive wrench around 180 degrees and flip the reaction arm 180 degrees as well. Then we'll have the cylinder on this side pushing this way. Now you'll notice the wrench is set up in the makeup mode. We've got the pipe rotating clockwise. We're pushing forward on the drive arm. We've just flipped these 180 degrees from where they were in the makeup in the breakout mode. One of the features of all of the auto torque hydraulic chain pipe wrenches is the lifting eye. Right here on the top of the re cylinder reaction block is this lifting point. And what you can do is you can hook up to this lifting point so that when you're done with this particular pipe and you want to do the next one, you can undo both of the chains and then let the chains loose, lift the entire wrench as it's pinned up and not have to take this all apart. Then you'll lower it down, put the chains back on, and you're ready for the next pipe. As you can see, the Autotorque chain wrench provides a safer and more portable alternative for difficult threaded pipe connection applications. For more information about the Autotorque chain wrench, contact your Snap-on representative today.